a good number of young people, especially on Twitter, now popularly known as X app and TikTok, do not know the real definition of feminism. They now see feminism as a as 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 an avenue, you know, to hate on the male gender, right? So I think this video is going to do justice to what feminism is. I'm not sure, but I just hope, you know, this video, Charlie Creek, you know, does a very good job with actually defining it and actually letting us open our eyes to the realities or the real definition of who a feminist is. Today's video, you guys know Charlie Creek and we know his stance about racism, feminism and all those interesting stuff. Today's video is from Charlie Creek and he is going to be, it's titled One Simple Question shut down confused feminism right so before we get into that video do well to click on the red subscribe button like this video my name is ogechi so so rude for not introducing myself but it's okay my name is ogechi and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here hello thank you for stopping by do what click on the red subscribe button like this video share drop a comment so it's important you watch through till the end you know so you can drop a very meaningful comment i'll drop my thoughts during the course of this video and after this video so please drop your comment let's keep this conversation going in the comment section okay i'll be there to reply you and every other person will be there replying kindly share this video so it's also very important and yeah turn on your post notification bell so you get notified anytime a new video pops up okay so let's get straight into this video this video is from charlie creek it's titled one simple question shuts down confused feminism let's get into it Hello, uh, what would you say to feminists, specifically those I think you would consider biological women who are in support of trans women being able to access historically women's spaces like uh, female bathrooms and uh, being able to participate in women's sports? Okay, what would I say? Um, let me ask, are, are you one of those feminists? I am. Oh, okay, lucky guess. Um, so, yeah, uh, what is a woman? Uh, somebody who identifies as a woman. So can I become a woman? Do you have gender dysphoria? Thankfully, no. <laughs> then, then no. Oh, but, so only if you have gender dysphoria, you can identify as a woman? It's a medical condition. It's a medical yes. condition. So anyone at any time can become a woman? Uh, no. Because... Well, anyone could have gender dysphoria. It's, it's, you claim it upon yourself. I, I, you know what, I, I am, I'm actually thinking I might, I might actually have gender dysphoria. So can I become a well, woman? Well, I wish you the best in your transition, and I hope that society accepts you. So let me ask you a question. Um, what is cheating? What is cheating? Mm -hmm. I can pull up a dictionary definition. No, like give an example. Maybe taking something from somebody or a strong person, you know, maybe using their power against the weak. Sure. Somebody okay. using their power against the weak. Got it. Okay. Is Leah Thomas or William Thomas biologically stronger than the competitors that he, she was against? I don't, I don't, I'm not, uh, I don't know about sp that specific situation. Probably okay. because she is number one. Won the national title. Yes. Okay. Won, well, won after, the national title. after the transition, right? Okay. Is that fair? Yes. So the other women against the man were born with less bone density, lower testosterone levels, what are they supposed to do to make it even? I would not know on that specific situation. Right, so there's nothing they can do because men have more testosterone, muscle mass, and bone density. So wouldn't that be cheating? Hmm. I feel like I'm being pulled into a trap, and I'm going to step away. Well, no, it's not a trap. No, it's not. I mean, just one sec. I, I... It's obviously not a trap. The right questions has to be asked so that maybe, you know, we can understand your line of thoughts. Most of the time, when these people come up and we allow them to talk, I think the problem is usually because we do not ask the right questions. The right questions to question who they really are. Now he's asking her a question and she can't even answer. The right questions has to be asked and answered. If they are answered correctly, then we can get to the root of these issues. Yeah. So she needs to answer these questions. 
since she's a feminist and she's fighting for the rights of transgender women. Just one sec. I, I, it's a very simple moral question, right? So if someone is stronger and was born that way, is able to compete against people that are not as strong because they're born that way, wouldn't that be the textbook definition cheating. of cheating? I don't know about that one. I'm going to step away. Okay. Thank you. Can I ask you one more question, though? Yes. Okay. So, so you're a feminist, and you, you say anyone who has gender dysphoria can transition to become a woman at any time. That, that's, that's your position? Sure. Okay. Do you think chromosomes have anything to do with determining what a female is? Yes. Okay. So then where does the gender dysphoria come into place? I think that sex and gender are different things. Right. But then what is a woman? Somebody who identifies as a woman. So anyone can be a woman at any single time? You've asked me this question. It's still no. Got it. And you're a feminist? I am. So who are you trying to protect? Still true. What was that? Who are, what women are you trying to protect? Women. All women. That you Regar can't, regardless that you can't of, of uh, whether or not they've transitioned. Whether or not they've transitioned. Yes. Well, um... I wish you well in the coming situation where now as a feminist, you're going to have to live under the tyranny of men who think they're women. Thank you for being here tonight. It's how confused and how, and the fact that these people do not even understand, the fact that she's a feminist and she's fighting for what she's not sure about or what she does not understand is is what is even boggling my mind because I don't know. You're a feminist, you fight for the rights of trans women and you cannot even define who a woman is. Like, you are not able to define. Now he's asking you the right questions. Who, what is womanhood? What does the role of chromosomes play in gender, right? He asked that question. He also asked um, about a man who is born a man, you know, and becomes a woman. Is it fair? He talked about what cheating. He asked her to even define what cheating is. Is it fair? Imagine you have two siblings. One is a boy and one is a girl. The fact that, you know, he talked about testosterone level, one born with stronger bones, you know, and is it fair for them to compete in a game where there are some weaker ones? I mean, let's try and be fair in whatever um, justice or whatever right or whatever, whatever it is that we are fighting for. Let's try to be fair. Trans women are not supposed to be, you know, to be in the same spot with women, with biological female. I don't think it is fair. And if we keep pushing this agenda to get to a point where biological women will no longer be interested in sports. Why? Because trans women have more advantage because they are stronger. And why? Because they are men. The fact that they transitioned or because they have gender dysphoria, whatever you called it, doesn't make them women. Anyway, please drop your thoughts on what you think about this video. Let me know your opinions, your suggestions, your comments, everything. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section. I'd love to see them. Before we go out, before I get out of your faces, make sure you subscribe, you like, you share, you drop a comment, and you turn on your post notification bell so get, you get notified every time I drop a new video. I'll see you in my next episode. Bye-bye.